Well, let us solve a quadratic equation which is in the general form and uh, we'll utilize the squaring method. Okay, let us do it. Let the general equation is x square plus bx plus c that is equal to 0. These are the three coefficients in general. M is here to arrange this equation in the square form that is uh, let this be x minus x minus suppose this is plus x plus m whole square or minus n that is equal to 0 we have to put this uh, equation in this form okay so that uh, we can say that this is x plus m the whole square that is equal to n so x plus n is equal to taking the square root it is equal to plus minus root n so we get x is equal to minus m plus minus root n so you get two um, solutions that is minus m plus root n and uh, minus m minus root n let us do it first we have to divide both sides by the coefficient of x square here the coefficient of x square is a so let us divide both sides by a so you get uh, what we get uh, dividing this um, polynomial by a that means this by a plus this by a plus this by a okay so a x square by a is x square plus this is b by a x and uh, in this divided by a c by a that is equal to 0 by a that is 0 okay now we arrange let us arrange this in this form okay we know that uh, x plus n whole square that is what that is x square first term square plus 2 into first term that is x into second term that is m plus second term squared in this form we have to put this okay let us do it so x this is x square plus 2 into this is our first term so this is 2 into x just see this okay, in this formula this is 2 into first term into second term so this is 2 into first term is x and second term should be such so that uh, that will be this uh, will be b by x what we can take you can see that this is b divided by 2a okay now you can see that 2 2 will cancel so it is bx by a that is bx by a this is like we have not done anything okay but we have uh, rearranged this in such a way so that uh, we can keep it in this person in this form okay plus square of the second term so we are forcefully introducing this this we have added so that we have to subtract c by a is given and we have to subtract this this we have added and we have subtracted so practically we have not changed this uh, polynomial that is what uh, this polynomial is this is the same okay that is equal to zero because you can see that this is same as this one and this is same as this and c by a is c by a and we have added this and we have also subtracted this now these three terms what is this this is the square of x plus b by 2a x plus b by 2a square is this much okay and uh, these are the extra terms c by a minus this you can write b square by 4a that is equal to 0 now let us mm, uh, transpose this to the right side so you get x plus b divided by 2a whole square that is equal to b square sorry this is for a square 2s square is for a square b square divided by 4 a square minus c by a okay so you get x plus b divided by 2a whole square that is equal to lcm is for a square so it will be b square minus this will be for a c so you get now we'll take the square root of both sides so you get x plus b divided by 2a or taking the square root x plus b by 2a that is equal to taking the square root in the right side 
and the square root of 4 a square that is again 2a so this is plus minus we are taking the square root okay so we get x is equal to we will take this to the right side that will become minus b by 2a plus minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so let us simplify for that x is equal to what is the lcm lcm is 2a in the numerator it is minus b plus minus root over v square minus 4ac so you can see that there are two roots one is minus b plus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a other is minus b minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a these are the two roots sometimes you will find that uh, it is difficult to factorize it is not always possible to factorize this and then in that case uh, what we will do uh, you can use the squaring method but the squaring method also demands you to do some more algebra in that case you can directly use this formula this is one of the most important formula in algebra and uh, so you can use this formula to find out the uh, two roots of the quadratic equation okay x is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a in many cases you will find that uh, factorization is difficult or not possible uh, and uh, if it is not asked that uh, do it by squaring method or by factorization so you can directly apply this formula in fact experienced people that do not uh, go through all this process they simply use this uh, formula to find the roots okay so we get the two roots using this formula and we will discuss the characteristic of the roots next time